New at six, an anti-Semitic note sparks a hate crime investigation. The note found by a student at Providence High School last week. Tonight, we're hearing from concerned students and parents. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is gathering new details tonight. He's in Charlotte with the very latest. Alex? Well, we've learned that teenager found the hateful note in her backpack. Police are not releasing many details about it right now because it's part of the criminal investigation. But tonight, other students quick to offer their support. While we don't know exactly what was said to spark a hate crime investigation, tonight some students are responding with wise words. It's a melting pot country. It's not more one race, one thing. We're all just this, like people. Police say a 16 year old girl found an anti Semitic note in the water bottle holder of her backpack at Providence High School last week. According to the police report, the teenage victim was threatened. I really want to find her and like, like just show love on her because like no one should ever have to experience that. You shouldn't be discriminatory to someone just because of their religion. CMS did not provide any information about any of the people involved, citing federal student privacy laws. But the district released a statement reading in part, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools rejects racism, bigotry, and intolerance in all forms. Messages, language, or statements that seek to divide our community are in direct opposition to CMS values and standards the district seeks to teach students every day. Both parents and students tell us they don't often That's hear of this type of incident at the school. It's a fantastic school. It is something like that is very rare. Pretty much the most mean thing I've seen at the school so far is gossip, but like that's everywhere. Police say they have not made any arrests in the case, but it is an ongoing criminal investigation. I hope that like we find out who writes the note because that should never be spread around. We also reached out to the Jewish Federation of Greater Charlotte, but they told us at this time they don't have any comment about the incident. In Charlotte, Alex Shabbat, NBC Charlotte.